Thursday, and uh, we're going to start as ever with the Aud USD. Uh, basically, uh, it's done virtually nothing that the last uh, last week or so. Uh, we still seem to be going slightly up. Um, I, I I thought it'd get above the seventy seven. I have a uh, sell limit just above uh, the seventy seven at point seven seven. 300 I believe and uh, we've got a trend line up on the uh, RSI uh, we're above the 50 which is um, uh, very bullish oh, well it is bullish a bullish area to be in uh, I've got um, a, a resistance line on the RSI uh, basically if the RSI cuts this sideways uh, and flat it is not a great well it's not a good signal to the downside uh, what we really want is for uh, the um, RSI to go up and then cut come back down and cut it at a nice steep angle like we have over here and over here so um, you know no great signal at the moment short on this and I believe there is a bit more upside in it and US dollar we saw a little bit of weakness on some pairs yesterday uh, in the US dollar. Um, <clears throat> we had a, a little bit of a spike up uh, for the pound US dollar and we've uh, come back down a bit now. And in fact, if you look at the DXY, the dollar has uh, recovered a little bit some of the losses that it made. We've got a commercial short ratio of 1.23 to 1. When it, which in itself doesn't look too extreme. But if we just have a look at a... Um, this is a, a two year commitment of traders graph of the positions of the commercials. And you can see down here, we're at a, a fairly uh, a fairly low uh, uh, bearish position for the uh, uh, commitment of traders, the commercials over the last two years. So um, it is quite a decent um, uh, position for them to have and for us to be fairly bearish of uh, the pound over the US dollar and I'm expecting uh, to get somewhere down to the 129 mark over the next coming week. USD CAD. Uh, we've seen a little bit of a pullback on this pair. Uh, I've got knocked out of my uh, bottom trade in profit and um, I'm expecting to bounce up off the 50 line uh, we've got a commercial short ratio of 2.18 to 1 um, and uh, we'll see how that goes today we've got uh, quite a lot of news out for the canadian dollar and the us dollar so uh, um, hopefully that that'll uh, improve the position uh, euro dollar uh, we've had the last three trades up uh, three days up with nice green candles which is a, a good uh, selling position uh, in my opinion and uh, we've got uh, a nice red candle starting uh, just coming down uh, on the RSI we've uh, just bent over and we're coming back down on the RSI so uh, I am looking for quite a lot more weakness on the euro and a bit of strength to follow through on the uh, on the dollar we have uh, uh, a bearish extreme for the uh, euro 1.73 is a five-year extreme bearish position so um, I am looking for a bit of uh, downside on this pair uh, hopefully in the first couple of weeks of January we might see something unfold especially on the the euro Japanese yen which is um, it, it suffered the same way we, we've had strength on the euro and we've also had weakness uh, on the Japanese yen uh, just before the bank statement so uh, uh, that, that that's going to uh, improve over the next two or three weeks uh, US dollar Japanese yen uh, we've seen strength here uh, weakness on the yen and a little bit of uh, uh, weakness on the yen basically so uh, we've gone up to recent highs um, I think there might be a little bit more to go uh, we've got a commercial ratio of 3.92 to 1 long the Japanese yen short the pair um that's that's uh, reduced quite a bit just recently so um we'll, we'll see how that goes but um i am expecting a little bit more upside before we see the downside so um, maybe give it a week or so uh usd swiss franc 
Um, we have got a long ratio 3.42 to 1 uh, for the Swiss franc. Uh, I prefer this currency on the crosses rather than on this. Uh, we've seen mixed results over the last uh, four or five weeks. Um, so um, we're just above the 50 and pointing up at the moment for the pair. We'll see where that goes, but um, uh, most of my money's on the crosses with this one. Uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Uh, we've been mixed results over the last uh, five or six trading days. Uh, we've seen it come up nicely off uh, the support. Uh, we've got a little bit of resistance where it is now. And I think we might just break higher. We might just reach these recent highs. Um, and uh, if we do, it'll be a good sell on the crosses back down. So that's where I stand with that one. Well, I've got my trend line on the RSI. Uh, we've come up uh, onto the resistance and we've just just glanced it again. Uh, but I think this might just break to the upside. So we'll see where it goes anyway. Silver. Again, uh, we've broken the trend line. But the RSI is basically flat, uh, and that's not really a good signal. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not entering on that. So there we go. We'll, we'll put a little bit more of an angle on it, see where it goes. But um, I prefer it if it just went high and then broke back down with a sharp angle. So hey-ho. Um, DXY spot. This is uh, the US dollar and against a basket of currencies. And uh, as you can see, uh, we had a big fall down the other day um, and uh, we're now just moving back up very slowly. Um, we, we did gap down here, uh, so hopefully that gap will be filled before we move uh, back up. Um, we'll see what happens this afternoon. We have actually turned on the RSI, but it's still below the 50. And uh, we'll see what...